Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Adam Marimpo's Box, and welcome to a new haul video here on the gaming channel. This is going to be a mix of a like recent pickups slash review product slash unboxing. Let's get to it. So first, quickly knocking out the review products, I got sent a Bluetooth light bulb from One by One, which is a company I've reviewed products before. It is a blue is a Bluetooth light bulb. It's an LED bulb, which I believe you can change the colors on and it plays music by an app. Weird as hell concept, but there's so many of them out there I don't understand. A bi-directional HDMI splitter, which means you can either send one input to two outputs or two outputs to one in, or two inputs to one output. So it can be like a switcher so that, you know, you only have one screen but you want two different things going to it or a splitter where you have one thing you want going to two different places. Interesting concept. I got sent a new two new webcams from Logitech and again these will be on the main channel in tech reviews so don't worry too much about them now just keep an eye out on the main channel if you're excited for it. I also got sent this from Funstock's Funstock Retro. It's a British company that or British website that sells a bunch of retro stuff and they have a lot of good stuff and they sent me a classic GameCube controller for the PC that I'm going to test out and review on the main channel as well. Pretty excited for that. I also got a Galaxy Note 5 phone today. Now it was a total, oh, there's the phone, there we go. It's got the clicky, clicky, clicky pin. Now the whole experience was a huge disaster getting everything set up and stuff and it's been a pretty rough day, but I will be super stoked and excited to have this phone tomorrow. <laughs> but the reason you're probably here for this video is my good buddy Falcon 1974 or just Falcon or Rusty sent me a box of awesome goodies, and we're gonna see what he has in store for me. It's a PS4! It's not really a PS4. All right, let's see what we have in store inside this PlayStation 4 box. I'm excited. I know what some of it is, but he may have other surprises in store for us, and I can't say I know 100% of what it is, so. Let's tear off his lovely green camo tape here. It's actually really easy to pull off, which is good for me. That's for sure. Ho oh, ho! Right off the bat, the first thing that falls out, Mario Kart 64. You can probably guess what the theme of this package is going to be. Oh my god, there's so much in here. Oh man. There's a stack. There's another one. What? All right, I'll have to take a look at that in a minute. I can't say I knew for certain that there were quite this many games. Ooh, hello. This many games involved. Can't say I really knew, which is awesome. Now, to keep in mind, I mentioned that my buddy Falcon1974 sent me this. It is important to note that I did, of course, buy this haul, or this box worth of stuff. He's not just giving this out to people, and so don't go messaging him being like, Yo, can you send me some games, bro? I subscribe to your channel if you send me some games. That's not how this works. So. Don't go spamming him for free stuff. Like the grubby grubby people you are. Alright, so we have a whole desk full of stuff, and I've got my desk all dirty and tore up again. Damn it. Where do we begin? Well, first, the main thing. We go dark gray OG Nintendo 64 with the memory expansion installed like a boss. It's not in bad condition whatsoever. Sweet. Nintendo 64 is one of my favorite console generations ever. We have three controllers here. Dark gray to match the console. A blue one. I've never had a blue one. And the lighter gray. That one's a pretty standard one. We have a memory card. And then we have this Gigantor stack of games. Mario Kart 64. Banjo-Kazooie, the original, which I had before they got stolen from me. Super Mario 64, another one I had before it was stolen from me. <laughs> Madden Football 64. Twisted Edge Extreme Snowboarding. Golden Eye. What up? Old G. Yellow Cart Donkey Kong 64 Wave Race 64 
Kawasaki Jet Ski. The new Tetris. Ready to rumble boxing. Star Fox 64 OG. Star Fox 64. I am hyped to play this actually. I've not put enough time into that game. All Star Baseball 99. 99, wow. That shows you how long this console lasts. Wipeout 64, another fantastic title. And Diddy Kong Racing, like a boss. And then we got some cables for it. And then lastly, he sent me his Belkin N52 Nostromo, which is a gamepad keypad, like the Logitech G13, I think it was. It has the analog six here, a button, a little flapper, and some buttons. And this is very useful for adding in function, and it's got a wheel here, for adding in functionality for PC games. And this is what eventually became the Razer version, but before it was Razer. So no fancy LEDs or anything like that. It is just, it was by Belkin first. So pretty sweet. So thank you so much, Falcon. And I got some custom, here, I'll pull them out. Hopefully that doesn't make them cringe too much. I literally have duct tape all over my pants. On the recommendation of Mezzel Jesus Rocks, I picked up this vinyl label set um, off of this guy on Etsy. Uh, what's his name? So I can give a proper recommendation. It is Sabo's Arcade and Etsy. And it's literally a full set of every Nintendo 64 title ever. And they're vinyl cutouts, so they're good quality labels. They're not gonna peel off. And they're just nice labels so you can see it on the spine because otherwise you have no clue what game that is. It's just a cartridge. So pretty fucking awesome. Thank you so much, Falcon. And that's been my haul video, including the phone and the controllers and stuff. I'm gonna go play some Guild Wars because I've had an awful day and I need to de-stress. Thank you for watching. Be sure to smash that like button if you liked it and like retro games and you want to see some of these on the channel, let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you next time.